Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 11 of Forbidden Deductions. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. Is it chameleon? Oh my god. Talk about what the what what's your reason at the hospital with her though? Are you? Uh -uh. I take offense to that. Me too, is your friend. There you go. Also, rest, rest in peace to Grizzly. If only he didn't die.
Would I look good? I'm hungry. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Seriously, it looks so good. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well, we know somebody about to die in a couple of minutes. What? Holy shit. Uh oh. With a wrench? Oh my god. He already did. Don't worry about her. Just go. One of those five. See, I feel like because he's lost dude, now he's really, his game is completely off. Yeah. Of course. Right?
So maybe all five of them are guilty. Nothing. Mm. No, don't say that. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> Right? He looked more like a businessman. Especially with the well, the one who got killed, he can't really say ish. Why? Because they were after money. I mean, they took the phone.
Got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, and let's bring them back in. Seriously? That's him, right? No, <laughs> it feels too easy.
Well, at least you're back to normal now. That's good, because, like, literally to have this whole episode about him and going through this stump is very interesting. I mean, it's raw in a nutshell as well for this whole entire series and such. And every single week we've also seen Ron come back into his own. I do love the fact that with this character, it only took a span of 30 minutes. But, excuse me, it was, a, it was continuing from what we all saw the first time when we met him. How, in my opinion, he was a little way too overly confident. And then once he found out that, you know, his partner... And crime was the one who did the crime and everything. I, that's when his whole world shattered. And he started looking at the world differently. He had a slump that, you know, he couldn't get rid of. He felt almost in a way depressed. And so you really truly felt bad for him. But the fact is that both Ichiki and Ron were the only ones who were able to help him to get him out of this. So, excuse me again. Um... It was really nice, but I do wish we kind of gotten a little more initiative or information on the situation of the first couple of minutes of this episode, specifically for Ron and the doctor talking to her, I mean him, and explaining more about that. We might get that, you know, answered next week, because I don't think we're getting anything else. Oh, never mind. Honestly, you thought you two would just stay a little while longer just to see it. Oh. You don't really seem too happy about that, though. Am I the only one that caught that? Or did you catch that, too? Because he, he seriously doesn't seem, you know, happy and excited about this. Each key is more happy and excited for him than himself. So I wonder what that's going to entail and stuff. So hopefully we get more context on it, like I said, for next week's episode. Because I think we are almost done with this show as well. I think this show is also ending next week. Let's see. No, we got one, um, two more weeks with this show. Um, but yeah, the, conf the context on that is very, like, misleading in a way. So hopefully we get something for that. But for them to go to another city and such and do the things that they had to do for another case, I, I think, you know, for a mad chameleon case, like, first I was like, what the heck? But no, that was really interesting. I mean, seriously, for these, like, next two episodes, I hope that they're really just as good as this case. It was a very, I feel like, different case. More, like, as much as I loved last week's case, I really thought last week was very interesting and, uh, blah, 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 my bad. The, um investigation of quote-unquote social media because if we look at any case that has dealt with to me in my opinion um social media cases and stuff whether it's like robberies um possible potential murderers stalkers and stuff like that i feel like those are the most interesting ones especially like i okay and i cannot believe i'm about to talk about this if you don't know of the infamous bling ring that was the biggest social media case that was in the early to mid 2000s to 2010s and such. And that is a case that I am still obsessed with till this day as someone who loves the crap out of pop culture and celebrities and everything. That was a case that while I was in like middle school as high school that I was like, what the freak is going on? And so when I rewatch either the movie that's, um, entitled by the true events of it or any there is one documentary and it talks about the leader of that group um that's on hbo max that eventually i am going to watch um it is really interesting to see the other side of it you know because you you see from the victims and stuff 
and you get to see their story but you also want to know about the people who did it and why they wanted to do it and because they were these teenagers who were obsessed once again with pop culture celebrity celebrities and wanting to be famous and stuff typically like majority of us were during those times and even now in a way um it is a very interesting case so i really will recommend if you definitely have not seen the movie from sophia carpenter i think that is um the bling ring or the lifetime movie for the bling ring definitely go go check them out i think there is also a um a limited series for it on Netflix as well but it was more like documentary-esque and then of course the other one talking about the leader Rachel on um, HBO Max definitely go give those a watch they're really interesting and then if you wanted to know more I know there is like a couple of video essays there there's one I personally will literally rewatch like too freaking much um, on YouTube by one of these girls that like she's just so good on her information and such I think her name is Mila Tequila. So definitely, if you really want to know more about that stuff and anything else, like, go give that a watch. It's really interesting. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 11 of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Join the actual squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 12. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!